click, clack, clickety clack. That's the sound of determination, skill, and immense bravery. Welcome back to the 4,767th annual pen clicking Olympics. That's four M's, some C's, and a handful of X's, V's, and I's. The very first pen clicking Olympics began as a healthy alternative to the Master Bation Olympics, which unfortunately ended prematurely. Today, however, the excitement in the air is palpable. After nearly 300 cases of repetitive stress injury, 40 broken wrists, and five disqualifications due to illegal steroids, we are paired down to our final two contestants. One, two, three, four. I declare a pen clicking war. Let's watch. That's our field reporter, Hugh Jazz. Welcome back to Penn BC. I'm Twice Knightley. And I'm Richard Butter. How you doing, Dick? Fine, thanks. Honestly, I feel this event is a little lopsided. I mean, no offense isn't even in the same weight rank as Test 2 Baby. I tell you what, like a retard in the electric chair, this little underdog puppy is going down. But I rather like this little Jewish guy. He's got quite the impressive background. He reminds me of a young Bernie Madoff training for tax season. Not nearly as impressive as Test 2 Baby's, you know, like bulging muscles, esoteric training rituals. Uh, Look, look, right here we see him practicing a technique known as choking the monkey's head. Looks no different than Thumb Babe the Willy Wonka from here. <laughs> Your British dog sure is funny, man. I ain't seen this many clicks since high school. You never made it to high school. What was that, Dick? Uh, I haven't seen a pen move with such speed and grace since Michael Jordan's divorce settlement. Yeah, well, I haven't seen a, uh, a conflict of pen mightier than sorts since that Hancock and Jefferson fellow was duking it out over who was going to sign that declaration first. Test you, baby, pulls ahead. Yes, we leave this exciting event to update you on another. Watching the grass grow. I never thought I'd be saying this, but look at that man's bulge. <laughs> He's the eye, eye captain which is a huge honor, considering he couldn't make the last Olympics due to pink eye. Well, that's what happens when you use a practicing proctologist. <laughs> that's a good one, Nick. Let's just say there's no iron aneurysm, right? <laughs> Let's dip on over to the teabagging competition, eh? All right, over there we got Munch McCratchy on the left, endorsed by the Tea Party. And on the right there we see Maya Bolschmel related to a famous member of the Boston Tea Party. Now, the last time these two were in the same room teabagging this hard, it was roommates in college. Says here the sport was originally invented by Sir Earl Grey himself. How about that? <laughs> hey, Dick, you suppose when the Earl invented this sport, he had them young choir boys bringing him a proper British breakfast back in the Earl's private chambers? <laughs> I tell you what. You observe that in the ordinary swimming position of the sperm whale, the front of the head presents an almost wholly vertical plane to the water. You observe that the lower part from that slopes considerably backwards, possessed to furnish more of a retreat of the long socket, which receives in the boom-like lower jaw. You observe that the mouth is entirely under the head, which in the same way indeed as through your mouth, or entirely under your chin. Moreover, you observe that the whale has no external I haven't seen two congressmen this focused no since they were voting on the last pay raise. the top of his head, you observe that his eyes and his ears and his side and his head nearly one-third of the entire length of the front of the forearms. Boy, it looks like no offense has pulled ahead of Test Tube, baby. Let's click back to the paint clicking <laughs> competition. It's coming down to the wire here and the ink is running out. It's going back and forth. It's Tess. It's Noah. It's Tess. It's Noah. It's Tess. It's, it's, it's Noah! What a thrilling finish right down to the wire for Noah. After winning this impressive pen clicking event, there'll be no more Masturbation Olympics for this young man. It's on to bigger and better things like shaving a woman's cunt. You done here? Dum, dum, da dum, 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 skiddly dum, 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 da da dum, 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 dum.